Hey guys, first off, my hair, I totally don't know what to do with my hair today. I feel like just doing this basically and putting it all to the back of my head. Just, I'm just going to go with it today. I don't really care what my hair looks like, just um, I'm rolling with it. Today's video is going to be a makeup, clothing and lush haul. Also, apart from showing you the stuff I've just picked up recently in the past few days, I'm going to be showing you the stuff that I bought myself for Christmas because also, if you watched my what I got for Christmas video, you'd know that I couldn't upload the whole video because of the stuff I bought for myself. It would have gone over 15 minutes. And the editor I use to edit my videos is iMovie and you can't upload over a 15 minute video. So I just have to cut that whole section out and I'm really sorry about that. But I'm going to be showing you the stuff I bought myself in this video anyway. So I'll tell you guys what stuff I bought in the last few days and the stuff I bought myself for Christmas. If you want to see what I bought in the past few days and the makeup I bought for myself for Christmas, just keep on watching. So firstly, I'm going to be starting off with makeup and I'm going to be starting with the stuff I bought myself for Christmas. So the first product I bought myself for Christmas was actually on Boxing Day when the Boxing Day sales were on. And this is one of L'Oreal Paris's Quad Palettes, which is a color richy less ombres palette in the shade Beige Trench. It has some really nice colours in it. I really do like this goldish copper eyeshadow. I also do like this grey metallic shade here. They're just two of my favourite colours in the palette. I will put all the pricing for all the products I mentioned and show in this video in the description because I honestly don't remember how much this was. And this is my fourth lip gloss from them. This is a cream formula and the shade I have here is cream, no, 102. Scream and Shout, which is a nice pinky coral colour. It looks more coral in the bottle than it does on the lips. So that being said, it is sort of a light pink. I do like this though. It's really nice and it's a really good everyday colour if you're a big fan of pink lip products. Also, if you hear any chirping birds in the background, I'm really sorry about that. When I started this video, they weren't here, and now they decided to pop over and have a visit and start making noise. So that is the other L'Oreal Paris product I picked up. I then picked up one Revlon product, and this is the Revlon Photo Ready Sunlight Face Illuminator in the shade 100 Bear Light. This, when it says face illuminator, I do recommend using this product with your foundation or even your primer. If you're just putting it over your concealer and foundation, it doesn't really give a glow at all. It's just basically nothing but a bunch of small specks of glitter. I've got to say, it's a product that I'm not too fond of. And the original price I do know of this product is $22. And this basically doesn't do anything apart from add a bit of warmth to your face with that sort of shimmery glow even though it's not even that shimmery it fills in any fine lines also which is not good it's a product that i think i need to try out more than just sort of publish what i've just said as my final thought about it i don't know it's an okay product like i said i then bought a bowl. i then bought a bunch of essence 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 makeup and the first product I bought is one of their lipsticks. I picked up this Essence lipstick. This is in the shade All About Cupcake and it's a really really nice lipstick. This is one of their new lipsticks from the Sheer and Shine range which is sort of like a MAC luster finish. That's just my opinion. Not 100% like the MAC lipsticks in that formula but it's sort of like it. Then I picked up this liquid lipstick and this is in the shade Almost Real 3. The colour is sort of a nude, warm pink. It's, it's very warm. It, I don't even need to swatch this product because that is the colour that the actual lip product is. It's also an okay product. It's not my favourite product I've ever tried from Essence. It's probably my least favourite. I like the formula, but then again I don't because if you were to basically do that, you'll see a line of where you've rubbed your lips together. 
and that's quite annoying but I do like the colour again it's a 50-50 product that I need to try out a bit more but I picked that up but it's not like I'm wasting my money because these are really cheap anyway so it's, it's sort of okay then I picked up a mascara and I'm wearing this mascara today I absolutely love this it's sort of like the roller lash mascara from Benefit but then again it's not because I feel like this mascara separates my lashes a lot more than roller lash and it also gives a more natural look rather roller lash doesn't necessarily give a complete natural look like this it sort of clumps the eyelashes a little bit together and makes them look a little bit more I'd say thicker but I prefer this mascara and this is like five dollars ten cents I absolutely love the brush. I like how there's lots of tiny bristles and it's and they're not thick. Cause I've had some mascaras where there's lots of bristles and they're thick and it makes mascara clump. Sort of like Miss Manga, though I do like that mascara. So that's all the essence products I picked up. I then picked up a few Maybelline products and then two high-end products. So the first Maybelline product I picked up, this is the Nudes One palette. I've got to say the quality of these eyeshadows is okay. It's not a palette I would straight up recommend. I find that the color, it, they're not very pigmented, though this color is super pigmented. But like the gold isn't that glittery in my opinion. It's not, it, mm. this palette is an okay palette if you're starting out with makeup. The few things I like about this palette are that this is a nice palette for me because I don't really like heavy smoky eyes like I created this whole eye look with this palette today and it's pretty natural in my opinion I like how you can build it up though for some people I know that they prefer just to have one or two swipes of eyeshadow and it be pigmented but this you do need quite a few dips of the brush and to get a nice pigmented color the next product here from Maybelline and the last one also from Maybelline is a Color Drama Intense Velvet Lip Pencil in the shade Minimalist. This is a product I also do adore. I don't know why I said that. I usually say it's fantastic or something like that. But it's a really good lip product. It's sort of a light pinky purple. It's just a really nice lip color. This I saw on All Things Sam's channel. And I had to buy it because it looks so amazing on her. These are also super pigmented and lovely. Now I'm going to move on to high-end products and then the product I bought in the recent few days. So firstly, I have here the MAC Irresistibly Charming Lip Gloss Set in the shade Pink. This was one of very many um, products and sets from their 2015 Christmas range. I am trying to save up doing the edition ones which are in the shade Cream Angle Eyes, I believe, and Color Saturation. And then the two permanent ones, which are the ones I'm using the most because they're permanent, are Sugar Rimmed and Just Superb. I really do love these colors. And then my Holy Grail product, oh my gosh, this is one of two products Hourglass released for the for their Christmas collection last year, 2015. This is their Ambient Lighting Edit Palette. I've nearly hit pan and diffuse light here. It's a powder that you can use all over your face or just under your eyes to highlight your under eyes and make them look brighter. Then there's Iridescent Light, which is an awesome highlighter and is exclusive to this palette. So you can't buy it. Then there's Dim Light. And then there's two blushes and one bronzer. The bronzer is in the shade Luminous Bronzer Light. No, Luminous Bronze Light. Then this blush here is the one I'm wearing today. And it's called Luminous Flush. And then there's Mood Exposure, which is a mauvey plum colour. I'm now going to move on to the product I bought for myself in the last few days. And of course, I bought another MAC product. This is an eyeshadow. This is the MAC eyeshadow in the shade Edible Lights. And this is a frost formula. It is one of the most beautiful eyeshadows I have ever seen. It's very tiny and it is quite pricey. It is sort of a coppery gold shade. It's more copper than gold in my opinion, which is really why I wanted it because I don't have a shade like this. I'm now going to move on to clothing. So I only bought a bikini and a 
jumper. And it indeed is from H&M. The jumper looks like this. It totally reminds me of Gabriella or Gabby's uh, homeware line she released in Primark last year. And of course, because it reminded me of her line of homeware and little knicky knack things, I had to buy it because you can't buy it in Australia, I don't believe. And it pretty much looks like that. And yeah. Now I'm going to move on to Target. So I bought a bikini. This was $20 for both the bottoms and the top. So all together. I didn't get it separately. So this is what the bikini looks like. It crisscrosses at the back. I'm doing a really bad job of showing you this. And then there's the matching bottoms. So now I'm going to move on to blush because every haul I do has to have something to do with blush in it. So if you don't live in Australia then you don't know that Lush has recently brought things from Oxford Street to Australia, just a few things, including Milky Bath, Bubble Bar, the Granny Takes a Dip Bubble Bar, etc. So there's a bunch of products that have been brought to Australia. I think there's also two or three um, Australian Lush products also out to do with saving the beach. So I was going to pick up the Flamingo Bubble Bar, but sadly the Lush I went to didn't have it in stock at all. There wasn't even a bowl with the little thing, like the name tag. I could have asked, but I didn't want to, and I didn't, so I, I didn't get it. They could have had it in the back, but I didn't, I didn't ask. So we'll never know. I'll firstly start with the shower cream I got, which is the Yuzu and Cocoa Shower Cream. It says, yes, it smells like chocolate oranges. No, you can't eat it. Cocoa and Tonka are absolute smell with grapefruit and bergamot oils to effectively brighten your mood. It does smell like chocolate orange. I got this and this was $10.50. I then picked up a soap, which is very rare of me, and I picked up the Layer Cake Soap. It says, the sweetest, juiciest rainbow you'll ever feel. This multicolored soap contains five real fruit juices, which are um, grape, orange, pineapple, blueberry, raspberry. The product smells, oh my gosh, amazing. So this is what the soap looks like. This is 0.122 grams of soap. It smells so good, it looks so pretty, and I can't wait to use it. And then I picked up two bath products, like bubble bars. I have here the Granny Takes a Dip bubble bar. It says, crumble this ginger, pepper, and lemon scented bubble bar under running water for grounding spicy bubbles. This was $8.95, and I think it's a bit pricey for the size of this because it's nearly the same price as the Comforter Bubble Bar, which is like this big, and this is like this big. I'm not joking, it's so small. And this is what the Bubble Bar looks like. It did crumble a little bit, but oh well. It totally looks like the Bath Bomb, which was released at Valentine's Day, which was limited edition. Sort of smells like the Pop in a Bath Bubble Bar Cross Mustics. Then I have here my last Lush product, but this is the Milky Bath Bubble Bar. It says, don't cry with spilt milk, bathe in it. Made with fair trade organic cocoa butter for softness to use. Crumble under running water. This has actual um, skimmed milk in it. It has patchouli oil, extra virgin olive oil, just a bunch of oils. But I don't really know how to describe this scent. It is so cute. It honestly smells... It really does smell like the pop in the bath bubble art. It also smells a little bit like milk. So that is the end of my haul. If you're new around here, be sure to hit the subscribe button and also give a like. Again, I really do hope you all enjoyed this haul video and I'll see you next time in the next one. Bye!